Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. I caught my girlfriend cheating with her rich boss. Full story. Back in 2019, I got into a rhythm of working out and truly taking care of myself on a different level, and it was really showy. I fell in love with myself and in love with my life, just doing my own thing. Out of the army now and working for a general contractor. I was so committed to the gym that I never made time for any of my friends or partying or anything like that. I was 22 at the time. My old buddy invited me over to a barbecue at his house, and I met this girl. She was too beautiful for me to believe she was even in my league. A few months go by, and I was always asking her to take her on a date. She finally let me. This turned into the deepest love I have ever had for somebody than I've ever been able to feel. The strongest passion I have ever felt for a human being in my entire life. I was married in the army for two years, but she wasn't true love. Just bah. We spent every waking moment together. Her job was a nanny for a super rich couple, and their little girl, and another older man with two kids. She also went to school full time. I was always cheated on growing up. It started my feelings of not being able to trust anybody. I remember there were times when I heard rumor stories about girls cheating with their boss and crap like that, so I started to get weird when I saw texts that had emojis and crap. It was really odd for me to see an old man texting like that. I blew it off. She would always FaceTime me when she was babysitting in his house, and it made me feel a little better about it. About two months in, she went to a party at a local college with some of her old friends. Later that night, she asked me to pick her up. While she was there, she was being pretty dodgy, but she let me pick her up. Also kind of helped my feelings. When we got home, she was super drunk, and I saw a text come to her phone with an L. She start the name. I instantly asked who it was. She said it was her girlfriend whose name starts with an L, so I dropped it. Around two hours later, another text came in and I heard it. I couldn't help myself but to look. It was indeed another man. Turns out this guy invited her to a frat party that was like date themed or something like that. I instantly broke up with her. She was in shambles, showing up to my house, falling her eyes out and begging me to take her back. My crappy judgment told me that she had learned her lesson. She gave me permission to look at her phone, see her socials, etc. Started to sound toxic, right? Time went by, and another month later I felt weird about the man she babysat for, and I started making comments about him because I really felt something. Every time I brought this guy up, she would tell me that I'm toxic, I'm psycho, I'm insecure, that everything is under the moon. I just could feel it. The text is weird. She would just say that he texted like her. He would drop KK and random crap like that. It was all weird. Well, this guy opened up a pharmacy and she started working there for him again. Now it was a 9 to 5. It was like this for just about the entire relationship. I brought this guy up so many times that she really just messed my head up with her responses. Turned out this guy has a 25-year-old girlfriend, and she is also a psychopath. Oh yeah, and he goes to the strip club like every day. Oh yeah, and he follows nothing but young girls showing ass on Instagram. Like, 500 plus including my girlfriend. It perpetuated my insecurities. I got so bad. I got out of touch with my family. One night, I always hurt myself over everything and she broke up with me and made me see a therapist. After a few weeks, we were back together. There was a night where something happened when we were out. I was at home waiting for her to get to my house. She came home and my roommate was mad that he didn't get to F some girl and took it out of my roommate's girl. It was a very weird situation. They left, blah, blah, blah. The next week or so, I went stooping on her phone and a random number texted her for asking her if she remembered him. I instantly confronted her about it. She made me believe I was crazy. Well, my crazy ass made her text him back and figured out who he is. Turns out, when she left my house that night, she left with that girl and went to some after-hour party. On her way out to the party, she gave this guy her number. I texted him basically saying I would hurt him, yada, yada, yada. I was mad, obviously not going to prison over this. Also, I broke up with her again. She begged me back, same BS as the first time. So I took her back, made more comments about her boss over and over. Every time I said something about her, she would actually make me believe her and the truth is, I wanted to believe her. I could imagine her doing something with a 50 plus man who looks like a wrinkled pickle and uses steroids. Whatever, I convinced myself. We then move in together. Things were rough here and there, but I have to say, I loved the F out of this girl and believed we were strong enough to do anything. I was going to her phone and came across an email thread she had with somebody. It read basically she was seeing what this man had in mind as a sugar baby. A sugar baby? I lost it. She told me it was for her friend, who I set up with an older man at one point. And I believed her. Then, 
Her dad passed away. Alcoholic and diabetic. Drank pink Mike's Harders all day every day. When this happened, I was so upset. We wallowed. When this happened, she started to push me away. She started pushing me away so badly and I got to a dark place. A place surrounded by insecurities and nobody to talk to. I cheated on her on a work trip. I hate myself for it. I have never cheated before. I grew up watching that effect to my mom, got cheated on by my ex-wife, and just hate the whole thing. I hated myself. Out of fear, I hid my actions. Sunday, the girl I cheated with told my girlfriend. My girlfriend has since called me every single name in the above. She calls me disgusting and all these things. She hates me, etc. So she's moving her crap out of my bedroom in preparation to move out. I felt weird so Tuesday morning, she was at her mom's house. I snuck in her bedroom and saw her iPad. I grabbed it and went to the messages. It's linked with her Apple ID. I read her texts between her and the girl from earlier, with the older man. They read that she knew, that she knew this was coming, me cheating, talking about karma, saying her boss's name and how she continuously did stuff and that this is karma. Her friend even said that she thought she was going to get caught. She didn't think it would be me cheating. She thought she would get caught. My girlfriend follows up that she has been hella smart, so there is no way I would ever find out. Dude. I took screenshots. Later that morning, she came home to grab work clothes. I called her mom and asked her if she knew she was having an affair with me with her boss. Her mom had no idea. I then sent only one of the screenshots to her. She runs out of her room screaming at me. How dare you go on my iPad when you freaking cheated? Blah blah blah. Basically, trying to make me forget what I'd read. Unfortunately, I had all the proof I needed. I sat there with a straight face, knowing we were truly done. She then leaves, saying this is BS. Then she texts me on her way to work, saying she gets off at 1 and that we could talk and whatever. I already knew enough. She had been doing something with the guy I made comments about this entire time. Well, she comes over. I break up with her. She's crying, saying, I didn't ever do anything with him. He just needed somebody to talk to, so I would talk to him and he would pay me for it. All this BS that I could just see right through. The truth finally came out. She had been sucking him off after she babysat before, and now after the pharmacy would close. Like, the cocky C on PH. I am devastated. This old man talked my freaking girlfriend into doing this. I freaking hate him, and I freaking hate her. I hate my freaking life. Turns out, she claims, he was holding her job over her head, saying crap like, I got you this job, I helped you out, you have to help me out. She would say no, and he was just persistent, and she felt she had to. Her reason is that she has always felt she needed money. She grew up watching her dad have literally nothing and all this crack saying she has daddy issues and what the F ever. This entire time, I was right. I convinced myself I had issues. Like, real issues. She's begging me to take her back. Since Tuesday, she has quit her job. Since she mentioned that she said no, it went off in my head that this old F manipulated a young girl. Filed a police report on him. She got a therapist to figure out how to get back to the person she wants to be. But she is begging me to go back. I have lost my mind in front of her about this. She knows what impact she has had on my mental health and claims she hates herself for it. There is so much more than she is saying that I care to type right now. The worst part about this whole thing is that I love her and still see myself taking her back. As stupid as it sounds, I am just so deeply in love with her. Cried myself into work today. Been drunk since Sunday. Thanks for reading. F my life. Let's get a couple reactions, then move on to the next story. Paco DeFan says, God damn me, both are the worst type of toxic for one another. Neither of you should even think about a relationship until you deal with whatever trauma from your past that is causing this behavior. The only thing missing from making this like thousands of other tragic stories is the murder suicide at the end. Please help each other through your problems if you must, but do not date until you do. Starting today also has a comment. Wow. Sorry for what you've just been through and going through now. So sad that the word love is casually thrown around these days without any meaning to it. My advice is to go back to loving yourself first like you did before you met her. You need to heal from all of this as it's way too much for one person to handle. I think your relationship is very toxic. And getting back together will not help either one of you. You can love her by letting her go. She needs therapy, healing and so much more. She continued to work for the old man because money was more important than your relationship. If she really loved you, she would have been straight up from the start. Hence why I think she enjoyed her double life. Lastly, thank you for still being here. Ask for help. Talk to someone you trust. 
and surround yourself with those who will speak life over you. Take care, brother. On to the next story. Just found out my wife has been cheating on me for 11 months. Told the bear partner's wife. The newborn might not be mine and may be heading for divorce. I am absolutely devastated. I've been with my wife now for 10 years, married for free. They have an amazing 8-year-old girl and just had another baby. On the way home from picking up my daughter from a friend's pool party, my wife accidentally sent me a screenshot of her FaceTime with another man. I instantly recognized him. When I got home, I confronted her. She explained it was an Instagram pocket dial, and she instantly hung up out of embarrassment and took a screenshot of the process. This was all a lie. I debunked this. After questioning her, come to find out she was FaceTiming this guy and effed up by sending me that picture entirely. She'd been talking to this guy, who was also married, for around 11 months. So I contacted his wife and let her know my wife and her husband have been hiding their conversations from us. After talking more with his wife, she discovered he was getting a hotel room down the street from our house all the time. She pulled up this info on their Marriott Points account. I called him and got him to come clean. He has been effing my wife for months at a hotel during the day. My wife would drop off my daughter at school, go meet with him, then come home and act like nothing happened. I've since confronted her and she's trying to get me to stay. The worst part is, our newborn baby may not be mine. They've been having sex throughout her entire pregnancy. I got a paternity to test today and should know by Friday the outcome. I don't want to divorce my wife, but she has absolutely broken my heart and ruined this family. My oldest daughter has no idea and I don't plan on telling her so they can keep a healthy relationship. My wife has never cheated before. I treat her like a queen. We are happy and love our relationship. Or so I thought. If she had never sent me that screenshot by mistake, I'd have never known. The worst part is, I have no idea why she would ruin our family and marriage. I gave her my all. I work my butt off for her and the girls. I'm broken. Time for some reactions. First up, G's window. Sorry you're here. So she never admitted what she did. She was found out accidentally, and she'd still be banging him if it wasn't for your discovery. She's not your wife anymore. You need to plan to divorce. If you go through with it or not is a different story, but you need to plan it. The OP responds, that's my goal. It's just life shattering. This was not expected. Her parents, my family, all are in absolute shock. I just worry about my eight-year-old daughter. This would crush her. Next comment coming from Parquet7. My son was 12 when I found out my wife was cheating on me. I divorced her and did two things. First, I told him in stages over a few years, always keeping it age appropriate. Second, I put him into therapy to help him deal with it. He's now in his early 20s and doing fantastic. It's not your job to keep your wife's dirty secret and kids figure things out. Don't let her lying become yours. You need to continue to be honest with your daughter in an age appropriate way. She'll deserve to know the truth over the years. The health of your daughter's relationship with her mother is not doomed. She is still her mother. It will be how your wife deals with her misconduct that will tell the tale. She will have the chance to take ownership of what she did, apologize and make amends. I suggest when the dust settles that you encourage her to do so with your daughter over time. Good luck to you. One more thought from D Reddit Avenger. You're on the right track. People can live a double life from their family for months are very broken and not safe. Your wife's cheating is not your fault and has nothing to do with your actions. It's a product of her low morals. You'll never truly recover if you try to stay with her. Besides, you can do better. You are also right to get the DNA tests. The only thing you can be certain of is that cheaters lie and they are good at it. Besides that, you have no idea. I understand protecting your daughter, but I wouldn't lie to her. If she's too young now, I would tell her in an age-appropriate way. This is much better than having your daughter doubt. And maybe worse, blame her father. The lesson will either be, her dad decided to leave for no reason, or her mom hurt her dad and he stood up for himself. I say the second is a much better life lesson. This is still her mom and they will have their own relationship, but that is really going to be on your ex anyway. Do not take responsibility for your marriage breaking up. This is your ex's doing. There is absolutely nothing honorable and noble about silently taking the blame with anyone, quite the opposite really. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it will get better, and the stronger you stand up for yourself, the quicker that will happen. One more story before we close it out. I want to forgive, but it's so hard. 
I just found out that about three months ago, my girlfriend of a year and a half texted and invited a guy over that she used to talk to her sister's apartment while she was house-sitting. I found out that she was venting to him and they ended up cuddling on the couch while watching movies. He had his arm around her shoulder while they were under a blanket. She claims that's all they did and she denied him when he asked to kiss her because she knew it was wrong. But yet, she was still under his arm cuddling. She completely denied this when I first confronted her and she eventually told me the truth after I had to find out through the grapevine. Never in a million years that I think this girl would do this to me. I'd taken this girl on trips to Vegas, Cancun, booked a hotel for our one-year anniversary, countless dates, and this is the thanks I get for it. She says she was depressed and in a dark place when this happened because she just failed her nursing board's exam and I didn't ask her how she was after initially failing. I, of course, was there for her after finding out she had failed and was encouraging her to get back on the horse and keep grinding. I've been there for her so much and love her so much and that's why this hurts like hell. I'm at a loss for what to do and don't know whether to continue on or not. If you read this much, thank you and any advice you may have for me would be much appreciated. Advice, advice, advice. Here it comes. Daily Errors 2019 says, There's always an excuse. I was in a dark place. Seems to be the trends now. No excuse for her behavior. She knew exactly what she was doing. She chose to have him over. If there wasn't anything going on, why does she lie about it? There's always more. Consider yourself lucky you found out before you married. What happens next time she's in a dark place? Move on. The OP responds, that's one thing that's making me just want to leave this. We're not engaged to be married, no kids, but our families really love each other. But also at the end of the day, this is my life and my family should support me if I do break up with her, I think. Next piece of advice coming from Automatic Channel Lady. On the big scheme of things, her excuse for calling a guy to stay with her in a time of need that isn't you is really, really weak. The two of you will have rough times individually and together, as everyone does as you move forward in life. She is setting the bar very freaking low to tend into the arms of another man when the road of life gets a little bumpy. Just something to think about. Last one from 401 Nailhead. Sorry man, she failed the dating game. Certainly not marriage material. Don't believe there were just cuddles. She lied to you until you found out elsewhere. You certainly have stepped up in this relationship. For me, total deal breaker with the lies crappy choices, and you deserve better. It will suck for a while, but my bet is, once others see you are free of this selfish individual, you won't be single long. By the way, advise everyone why you broke up. Don't let her revisionist history say you are abusive or simply did not work out. I would say good luck, but you don't need that. You appear by your posts to be a great catch. <laughs>